Alrighty guys, well, I made this video probably about, oh man, what was it, at least a month ago, uh, well no, it was rather three weeks ago, uh, my girlfriend purchased her computer, I went over all the parts with you guys, showed you guys all the parts and stuff like that, uh, that I was going to be putting in the computer and, you know, running, um, what you're hearing right now is all the fans running at 75%, uh, I didn't want them to cook them up too much higher than that, but, it's pretty much as high as they'll run. Um, the only reason being I don't have them up any higher than that is I don't really need them any higher than that. I could run them at 100%. I could run them at you know performance setting uh, with the computer do the automatic on the cooling. But she has the or I overclocked the system to 4.4 gigahertz. She has a 7850K in the system. It runs hot. Uh, so just to be on the safe side, I wanted to make sure that she's covered and that the system's gonna run cool. So if, if I have it cranked up to 75 on all the fans, it may affect the durability of the fans ultimately, but long and the short of it, the system will run nice and cool. It's not gonna ever get hot, and I'll show you the temperature in a second. Um, going over the fans, she's got an AF series, the old model that you can't even get anymore. Uh, Corsair fan on the bottom, this came with the uh, with the carbide uh, spec one case this is the only fan that actually comes with the case so you do have to order others um, this is an AF series quiet or super quiet um, 120 millimeter or no that's a 140 rather uh, 140 millimeter uh, fan that one's cranked up all uh, to 75 percent up top here she's got one one more of the 140s on the top uh, again, cranked up to 75%. And if you guys can feel this case, it's like an ice box in there. It's actually really cold. Um, so that's how I know it's working pretty well. All of these three are set to intake. And I'll show you on the back here. After I just hold on one second, I just gotta disconnect my sound real quick. Um, on the back here, she's got the. You can't see it, I'm sorry. Um, Right here, there's an exhaust. I have the two SP fans uh, for, that came with the H80. Pulling air, or in a push-pull configuration, uh, throwing air out the back of the case. So all the air is coming in through the front and top here, and being pushed out the back of the case by the exhaust fan. And I mean, it is going to pull some air. And I mean, if you were to put your hand over the top here, you can actually feel it pulling air through my fingers right now. So it's sucking air down and throwing it out the back, and it's being thrown across the graphics card up and out the back. And this fan is actually blowing cold air down on top of the graphics card. I mean, this fan here is growing, throwing air down across the graphics card over the top of it and back over towards the exhaust. So, oh no, I mean, you, if you feel this air coming out of here, it feels like an air conditioner. <laughs> And it's running through the uh, the H88 I pump. Um, so let me show you a few specs on the computer real quick. Uh, right now I have AI System Suite pulled up. Ooh, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, I have AI System Suite 3 pulled up. Um, just so you guys can see, the, you know, the temperatures that are coming off this system. Um, I do. I did overclock it in AMD Catalyst. Uh, that's probably the best way to go about doing it because it's 2850K. Uh, has the Kaveri system, so it's a little bit different than the you know the the Richland uh, that I have. I have a AMD 6700 uh, that's non overclockable. Uh, even though I do have it overclocked to 4.5, don't ask me how. But uh, like I said, this one's running at 4.4 gigahertz right now. I have it overclocked. It's over voltage as well, I believe. Uh, because I think regular voltage is 1.25 off the top of my head. Um, so it is running pretty smoothly right now. Um, showing you over here, I downloaded the Rogue uh, CPU-Z, and I'm sorry for the wobbly ass camera guys, I'm reaching over uh, a desk and over uh, like a shitty little wobbly desk that I have uh, for when she comes over with a computer, but you can see right there it's running at 4.4 gigahertz as well uh, and this is the ROG version of the CPU-Z um, now oh, no, um, I'm waiting for this game to boot up 
or to finish downloading. Uh, this is the game she plays all the time. Really, the only reason she bought the computer um, was to play Terra. So right now, I'm waiting for that to boot up so I can actually get a you know frame rate going and see you know how the computer runs. Uh, that's actually a pretty you know a pretty intensive test, believe it or not. Um, Terra uses a lot of the computer uh, to be able to run. Excuse me, run. Um, so pretty much, it's going to be a real test for the computer. Um, I will download Fraps for you guys right now, just so I can get the uh, frame rate up and displayed. Just because I don't have anything to display that at this current moment. Um, so we'll get that downloaded. I forgot to do that. And um, this way you'll be able to see the frame rate when I boot up the game because it looks like it's almost done too. Right now there's no sound whatsoever just because uh Per second, All right. Okay, so that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to minimize and not close it. All right, so. In about five, maybe ten minutes, hopefully, this will be done downloading. This has been downloading almost all day. Uh, Terra is a very, like I said, very extensive game. Uh, it's a very large uh, file. Um, in addition to that, I've also had to do a clean install on her system now for the third time. Um, basically, Windows 8.1 is the biggest piece of shit out there. I just want you guys all to know that. Don't buy it. Don't waste your money. Um, wait for Windows 9 to come out if you're going to be buying a computer soon uh, just because ultimately this system I've had to reinstall this system three times now and it's not due to anything that I've done to the computer it's due to a driver issue with Windows 8 and I've looked into it and what it is is it's an, a Windows update that actually happens where Windows is just retarded and what it'll do is it'll update the system and it messes up your display driver and you end up getting the black screen of death. Um, I went through almost five and a half hours, no, actually seven and a half hours of troubleshooting with Windows on the phone and both the guys were idiots, I just have to say. Um, not for nothing, if you work for Windows, uh, you guys are all fucktards, just to put this out there, but... Um, the one guy, you know, he was trying to be as helpful as possible, and he was working through chat with me on my computer while I was doing everything to hers. Um, didn't work out, nothing, there was nothing that he could suggest, and being he was only a level one executive, he doesn't have the ability to give me a Windows key, uh, or even didn't, he also didn't know the, uh, or a level one associate, I'm sorry, not executive, what the fuck am I talking about? Um... But basically, he didn't have the ability to give me a product key to get the computer going because, uh, like I said, they, they gave me a temporary key uh, until I can get down to my girlfriend's house and actually install the new key, um, or the key that I have for her system. Um, so right now, we're just kind of waiting on that. I have to do that tomorrow, but, um, you know, long and short of it, he didn't have it, so I ended up waiting for somebody to call me back today, and... Not for nothing, the guy yesterday, he actually did try to help me out. He stayed on, you know, stayed in the chat with me the entire time, didn't leave, didn't do anything. He kept checking back on me, like, every five minutes or so, you know, what's the computer at, what's it doing, you know, is everything going okay, like, what's going on. Um, you know, he did a great job. The other guy, however, uh, he would be on the phone on hold, like, while I was trying to get the computer working, and all of a sudden, the system would, like, mess up or whatever and because of that the stupid uh you know the system would basically glitch out and cause problems or you know something would go on and you know he was troubleshooting with me but the point the fact of the matter is is that when he was troubleshooting with me he like stopped 
and he was like, hey, all right, I'm going to call you back in like 25 minutes, blah, 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 blah. And like, he would call back 25 minutes. Okay, where's the computer at? Oh, okay, well, give me like five minutes, I'll call you right back. And like, he didn't know what he was talking about at all. He had no idea what he was doing. So, like I said, as of right now, I was a little pissed off with this uh, service that I got today. I'm also really pissed off with Newegg. Um, I don't suggest buying parts from there. Do not do it. I will tell you that flat out. Um, and this is the reason why. They sent a hard drive to me. Um, this was the box it came in. All right, right here is the box that it came in. Does this look like a brand new box to you? For a hard drive to be in? And right here, this is our hard drive. This is how it arrived. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> it wasn't even sealed. Like, you see how there was supposed to be, like, these things that seal it and close it up so that, you know, it doesn't get damaged, even if it is a refurbished one, which this is. Even if it is a refurbished one, like, come on, really? Did somebody steal my, my real one and take it home and give me a fucking refurbished broken one? The fuck? So, needless to say, I'm gonna get on the phone tomorrow with new egg, rip them a new asshole. Um, I'm going to immediately demand to speak to a uh, supervisor just because the last person I spoke to was less than caring. She gave no shit uh, about anything and like I said, I, it just pissed me off beyond belief um, that, you know, somebody would send a hard drive. Like, this is a, you know, a hard drive. This is a disk drive or it has a disk in it. Like, this is so easily damaged and you send it like this, loose like this. It wasn't even sealed. Like this, there was no tape here to even hold this closed and protect it from even falling out. And the box was big enough that this could have opened while in shipping. And this definitely got damaged. Like you hook it up to my computer, which runs perfectly, and it freezes up my computer. Like I, it won't even go past you know a loading uh, process. So long and short, I'm gonna get them on the phone and rip them a new asshole tomorrow. But. Um, don't order anything from New Age. Save yourself the trouble. I, I suggest it to all of you. You know, don't do it. Um, if you're gonna get computer parts, get them from Amazon. You'll get free shipping. You get, you know, and you get quality parts. You get the one like brand new stuff. You you can get refurbished, but um, I wouldn't suggest it. But also, you know, you know the risks of getting a refurbished part. And but I've never ever gotten a refurbished part in replacement of a, what was supposed to be a brand new part and got ripped off in the process. So, like I said, just save yourself the trouble. If you're going to order something, don't order it from Newegg. Unless it's like a keyboard or something along those lines, don't do it. But anyway, have a great day, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I just wanted to show you that I did get it running and it is running smoothly. I will do a second video once I get the game going just to show you the frames per second. It'll be a short little quick clip. And uh, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this.